channel and I just want to start off by apologizing so much for being gone for so long. I have been going through a whole lot of stuff and I'll probably try and cover that in a whole other video. Um, I just want to appreciate those of you who have reached out to me and asked me if I'm doing okay and if, you know, everything's alright. I've just been going through a whole lot of life changes. Um, but today's tutorial is going to be on this look that you see here on my face. Um, for those of you who don't mo know me, for those of you... For those of you who don't know me and for those of you who do, yes, this is a wig. My hair didn't, you know, just sprout out of nowhere and change colors. Um, this is a wig and I just got it and I'm absolutely in love with it. Like, look at this length. It is beautiful. It looks absolutely horrific without a beanie on, let me just tell you. But like, the quality of this wig is actually really, really nice. Um, so if you want to see how I got this look on my face. Don't change the video. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, so I've already got my base done, I've already got my eyebrows done, so we are going to start off by priming our eyelids. And I'm using the NYC 24 hour city proof eye primer today to prime my eyelids. So we're just going to take that and we're going to apply it all over our lids because it's going to be a pretty heavy eye color. We want it to stay on all day long, especially since I have to go to work after this. So it, it'll be nice. We're just going to pat that in. Can even it out a little bit? And if you don't have an eye primer, you can use like a concealer or some foundation. Just make sure that you set it with a loose powder. Um, we're actually going to take the NYX Sex Balm Femme Fatale palette. We are going to set our eye primer with this white shade here and pack that on your eyelid. So now that that's set, we're going to go in with this bright red shade and we're going to apply it all over our crease and kind of smoke it out a little bit. So I'm not changing my brush and I'm just going to apply it all over my crease. And because I have hooded eyes, I'm going to start up a little higher with it because that'll help elongate your crease so that you can see a little bit of everything when your eyes are open. I want this super vibrant, so I'm going to go back in with some more and apply that. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to take this black color here with a flat little eyeshadow brush to very carefully pack that on the center of our lids. Black is such a scary thing to work with. Let me tell you, like, it's best to start with a little bit and work it up. Because you can always blend out a little and add a little more. So apply that all over the center. Kind of work your way up. Going in with that same fluffy blending brush, we're just going to blend out those harsh edges to kind of blend the colors into each other. And we're just going to kind of repeat the process, add a little more black onto that flat eyeshadow brush, pack it onto the center just to kind of deepen and darken it up a little bit. And again, with the fluffy brush, go ahead and clean the edges out. So something like this doesn't have to be super neat because it is kind of like a smoked out, grungy eyeshadow look. So you don't have to be too careful with it. The, the bigger the better, obviously. Um, so now we're going to go back in with that same red color on the fluffy blending brush that we have. And we're just going to kind of touch up and intensify the red edges along here to just kind of fade the black out. So now I'm going to take this little angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to apply the red directly to my waterline. Again with this it doesn't have to be super neat, 
but still try to keep it as close as possible to your water line because we are going to end up smoking it out just a little bit afterwards. And we're going to drag that all the way across. So now we're going to take a clean fluffy blending brush and we're going to smoke out the bottom. Now you're going to take any eyeliner that you like. I'm taking the Jordana eyeliner and you're going to take the eyeliner and apply it to your bottom waterline. And then I'm going back in with that same eyeliner brush and I'm going to set that bottom waterline with the black eyeshadow from the Sex Bomb palette. This is a cute little trick that I've learned where if you have like a problem with your waterline smudging or, or leaving your eyeliner or your waterline at points in the day, um, this really helps set it in place so that it doesn't move, so that it doesn't smudge and like slide down your eye if you know what I mean. And we're also going to take that and just kind of smudge it out. I know I have a huge problem with keeping my eyeliner on my waterline. And it kind of sucks because I've used all sorts of different eyeliners. And I don't know if maybe it's just my eyeliner or if it's the way I'm putting it on or what it is. But leave a comment down below on your little tips or tricks on on how you get your eyeliner to stay on your waterline because I need to know. I can't get it to stay. Okay, so now I'm going to take this little elf quad here and I am going to take this lightest shade here to add a little inner corner highlight to my eyes. And for this, I'm just gonna use my finger because I find oftentimes the highlighter in the inner corner works out a lot better if you just use your finger. I don't know, it's your skin. It picks up that highlight a lot better. So now all that's left is to add some mascara and maybe some fake lashes is back to your thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do the mascara and some fake lashes off camera because this is a really hardcore look and I feel like some fake lashes are really going to look well with it. So I'll be right back. Alright, I am back and after what felt like a million years for me, it was just a couple of seconds for you. Not even. It was like point, not even, I don't know. I, yeah. The point is, I'm back. and. The eyelashes are on, thank god, and now all we have to do is add on a lipstick. I am using the NYX Liquid Suede in, what color is this? In Cherry Sky. I absolutely swear by this product. I love the NYX Liquid Suede. It's their lingerie, their liquid suede, their everything. Their products are just fantastic. So I'm going to put that on my lips. Alright guys, so the lips are done and this is the look. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this look. I'm not quite sure what to call it yet, but I'll figure out something to call it. I don't know, that'll be the name. You'll, you'll see it. It's already got a name! I just don't know it yet. But I really hope you enjoyed this look. It's absolutely amazing, it's beautiful, it goes so well with this wig that I just got and in love with it. <laughs> Anyways. If you like this, please, please, please give it a big ol' thumbs up, give it a subscribe, and if you really, really like me that much, go ahead and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button and it would mean the absolute world to me. I know I've been gone for such a long time, but I really, really appreciate those of you who have stuck by me and kept asking me if I was okay and if I was going to start making any videos anytime soon. So here you go. I'm really, really hoping to get another one up here pretty soon and doing something once a week for you guys. So thank you so, so much and thank you for watching.